All right. Welcome to Pocono Sports Speak. I'm AJ Hiller, live here with Jesse. Just watch Altman's. How you doing this morning, Jesse? What's up, guys? What's up, AJ? Uh, I'm doing oh, we're having a little technical difficulty here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep rolling, and we are going to share this on YouTube. Um, so just give us a second here, and uh, we're going to share this live stream on YouTube so that folks sitting at home or in their cars, hopefully not driving, um, so just give us a second here could and uh, be able to uh, share this live stream. My bad. Yes. So let me just pick this up here. And hey, we're live. We're going. Yeah, we are live. live. Jesse, just watch Oltman's is in the studio. Uh, guys, I'm just going to share this live so that you can see it on Facebook. So hold on one second here. Uh, I do apologize for the technical difficulties. Uh, unfortunately, we are in a basement. Okay, we'll worry, we'll worry about that later. Um, again, we have uh, amateur fighter Jesse Just Watch Altman's in the studio. Uh, Jesse has been fighting in the local scene, uh, Stroudsburg area. Uh, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey over the uh, past several years, um, and a lot of a lot of you do know Jesse, but let's get outside uh, before um, the Jesse that is now. Let's start early. Jesse, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, growing up, um, you know, the early years, Jesse? The early years, early years. Uh, I was I was very fortunate to have uh, an older brother. I guess you could say my father, very fortunate for him. As uh, many of you may know, he's been a professional fighter now for over 20 years. But I just grew up just, no, I wouldn't say uh, bad. I would say tough. My dad made my life, made me strong. He made me who I who I am today, made my brother strong. And, uh, yeah, seeing him on the weekends, I mean, back in the day, I didn't think I was as as fortunate, but now I look back at it, is it was just all meant to be, basically. Nice. So uh, you brought up your brother. Um, how many siblings do you have? Um, I have my older brother. I have my younger sister. I have my younger brother, and yeah, that's my my main family. But my my fam my parents split up early, so I see my dad on weekends. Right. And then uh, my mom remarried and had my little brother, my little sister. Nice. Were you guys always in in the same area, or did you move away? Did you? No, we we all we were all been pretty much close together. You know what I mean. The the whole family. It wasn't far. My dad. Everything. It's just one big family, as I consider it. Nice, know? nice. So you come from a big family. Uh, do you still are you still close with the family? Do you still talk to your brothers, your sisters? Yeah, my sister actually lives in New Jersey with me, and uh, I'd stay with my aunt, uncle out there. I see them a lot. Uh, I come home, my brother's out here. I'm always traveling, always just trying to get better, make moves, do what I got to do. Nice, nice. Now, um, elementary school, uh, middle school, high school, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Elementary school, uh, actually with the cool ball, I don't know if they shut that school down. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was a cool school. I like that school a lot. But I, I grew up with a uh, lot of friends, always playing sports. Always in the sports. Uh, what sports? What sports did you play? Basketball, football, um, anything, really. Anything with a ball. I just was always into sports. That's why when I first started fighting, it was just like the workouts and everything. I picked it up naturally fast, I would say. Right, right. Uh, tell, tell me a little bit about high school. Uh, what, what was your focus in high school? Did you want to go to college? Did you... I, I thought I'd be in the NFL. Nice. I thought I'd be an NFL player. And... Uh, Unfortunately, I wasn't. I'm not. But uh, what position did you play? I played receiver and defense end my high school career. Nice. A little bit of outside linebacker. But uh, football is my thing. Even now, I got the Ravens jersey on. Ravens. I'm a Seahawks fan, but the Ravens need to win today. The yeah, they're both birds, right? Yeah. So, I'm excited pretty... for the the NFL playoffs today. Very excited. Nice. Unfortunately, I haven't uh, watched NFL <clears throat> now in, in two years. Um, you know, with that whole kneeling thing, you know, I, I yeah, kinda, with Ka Kaepernick. Yeah, I'm still still a little uh, hurt over that whole situation. Yeah, um, I'll take all the Nike stuff. You can give me all the Nike stuff. Nice. And I think we've burned that. Yeah. 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 And while I'm sitting here with, oh, this is Reebok. Yeah, Reebok. So this is Reebok. 
so I wasn't being a hypocrite. Huh. Um, so tell me about uh, when you decided to be a boxer, because it, it happened later. Um, your father, uh, you grew up, of course, your father uh, was a amateur, a, a professional boxer, um, had some huge fights in his career. And um, you weren't at first following in your father's footsteps. When did you decide to, you know what, this is something that I want to do? To be honest, AJ, I had, I had no choice. But I did not know what I was getting myself into. Right. You know what I mean? I, I had no choice. I had nothing going for my life. I, I made a bunch of mistakes. And I paid for them. And I didn't have the job that I have now. or I didn't have anything that I have now, to be totally honest. Nothing, I had nothing. And uh, I don't like crying that. Excuse me. I don't, yeah, I don't please like. Don't cry on the show. You know what I mean. I don't. I don't. I don't like to. Uh, have tissues here, Jesse. You know what I mean to 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 add that. But realistically, I really didn't. I didn't have nothing. I never threw. I threw punches, street fighting. You know what I mean? Like I said, growing up tough. But uh, did you win? I won a lot of them. I don't think I. I don't, honestly, I don't think I ever lost in the street. I so what's your record? Maybe what, maybe one. What's your record on the street? Vincent Bouchel, and and if you guys know him, that was I got I got suckered in the locker room, and I don't even know what grade it was. I didn't get a chance to fight. Like so second we, we, grade, we, third grade. I'm about uh, huh? Second or third grade? No, I was. That's the junior high high school ordeal. I had my shirt over my head. I was changing for gym, and oh, boom, I got cracked. Yeah. And then I went to go fight him and threw a couple punches, and they broke it up. Yeah. So he got me. Like, so Vincent Bruchel, who knows? Maybe he's. Oh, he's his, a goon. I don't know where. I haven't seen him in years. I don't know. He's probably running some multi-billion-dollar company. He might be. He, he's we're that sitting, type of dude. He might be. And we're sitting here <laughs> in a podcast room. You know. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. He might be one of them cat killers. You seen that series on Netflix? Yeah. That, yeah. That, that don't mess with the cats. Yeah. That was crazy. You know, we could actually talk about that because that thing got me so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In. I'm not even a cat guy. I like kittens. I like. I'm. I'm an animal guy, but I'm not a cat guy. But right. that really bothered me. That whole that. But it was a great series. It, it was, was crazy. crazy. It was absolutely crazy, Jess. Yeah. I watched was. this thing. Well, the first time because I thought they were going to actually show the cat getting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. didn't know if I wanted to watch it or not. You know, so I'm watching like with one eye. I'm like, should I watch? Should I watch? But then they ended up not showing. Yeah, it. they did a good job with that. Yeah, they did, but they did uh, a good job. you don't know what we're talking about. This is a Netflix series. Um, Basically, uh, this this crazy guy was killing cats and posting them on, um, uh, you know, YouTube. And then this group got together and, you know, went to find this guy and he ended up killing somebody. It was, yeah, crazy. It was crazy. It was insane. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, so uh, back to back to the boxing piece of it. So, um, you know, you said that you got into a lot of street fights, which... You know, I could see that. I, I, know, would, I wouldn't claim a lot, but I'd say, you know, I'm known. I'm known yeah. for street fighting, kind of. And yeah. it, it all just took apart. It all made me work why I'm sitting here with you today. You know what I mean? Right. Everything. And that's what's crazy about it. That's what's the whole beginning of me not knowing. I knew what this was going to turn into, but I didn't know what this was going to turn into. Yeah. And now it's like, all right, Jesse, me, my team, you, you're a big part. Everybody's a big part. But now we opened a door of opportunity of where, <clears throat> excuse me. Where are we going to go with all this? Where What are we going to do? And it's still up for, you know what I mean? We're still here. We, we, we have a couple ideas, you know what I mean? But really, what what am I, what's what's next? You know what I mean? That's that's where I'm at with it all. But um, back to what I was saying earlier with the, I didn't, I didn't have anything. I was trying to fight earlier when my, I used to be in Larry Holmes' gym with my father. I used to, me and my brother, we'd always try and, we always talked to him. My dad seen the other side of the sport. He knew how, how it can be. Right. So uh, he never wanted it for me and my brother. You know what I mean? He never wanted to see me and my brother go through the pain that he went through and the sacrifices and the game, basically. You know what I mean? Right. So he kind of kept us away from it. We followed it, but I wasn't. I, I wish, and I'm sure back, if he looks back at this or if he's watching this, I'm sure he's probably thinking to himself, I should have just let him because now look at me. I'm still here. I'm still taking the blows. I'm still digging in. I'm still doing what I have to do, making the sacrifices, doing all the grinding. And it, if I would have started earlier, I would have been way, way better, bigger. Everything would have been better for me. The, the door of opportunity would have been that much bigger. Right, right. I, I only been doing this for five years. How old are you now? I just turned 26 this oh. summer. Oh, so you, you did get a pretty late start. Even though at 21, <clears throat> you figure you start at 21, you're not that far behind um, because really you're not even in your physical prime or peak until you're, you know, 30, 30. All these are. Uh, 
other fighters that are trying to do it, trying to do it, you got to just keep moving quick. You got to move for at least the first two years of your career. Then once you start understanding the game a little bit, getting better, that's when you kind of settle down. But that's why I was blessed. I was getting the fights. Uh, you, you were throwing fights left and right. I was going to fights left and right. I was fighting, excuse me, I was fighting nonstop, nonstop. And that's what made me jump. You know what I mean? I, all the progression I made is in that time period. But um, so how many amateur fights did you have? I have 30 right now. 30 all amateur fights. 30, yeah. And uh, have you ever won, won a fight? No, I'm only kidding. What's your what's your amateur record? My amateur record right now on paper is 24 and six, but it should be 27 and what three? That's a fact. That's a fact. Right. And anybody watching this that did get the dub on me, we could run it bad. We could do whatever. That's a fact. And I I got videos. I got them all. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, um, you know, in boxing, there's still a lot of political um, areas of boxing, and sometimes you don't get the call that you want. However, you know, what they always say is don't leave it in the hands of the yeah, judges, right? And, and you know what? Then that's a fact. I've done that a couple times with a couple of my losses or whatever you want to call them. But uh, it's all a learning progress. It's right. our, yeah, it's all a learning process. Process. Yeah. So everything, everything until now prepared me for where I'm at now. Everything. It's, it's the drive into the fight. It's the right. weigh-in. It's the diets. It's the good camps, the bad camps. Uh, uh, anything bad in your life and you're going to this fight, I've had great camps, I've had bad camps, I've had terrible camps I've had camps where I didn't even train and it's not cool, it's not right. in it, but it's happened, but I'm taking calls on short notice, you know what I mean they, hey Jesse, we gotta fight here, I haven't been in the gym two weeks, but, right, you know what, I need another one but that's going back to what I'm saying about moving, moving sacrificing and that's the things you gotta do in order to life and that's not just boxing, that's so much more in detail in life of what sacrificing of you have to everybody sacrifices you sacrifice something to be where you're sitting everybody sacrifices something to get to where they want to be oh absolutely 100 percent. so out of those 30 plus fights uh why don't you tell the folks uh some of the accomplishments that you've you've had with those um uh 30 some fights of course you fought in the golden gloves why don't, why don't you yeah, talk a little bit about that the my first fight was actually in the golden gloves and i love the golden gloves the golden gloves is one and the tournament's actually coming up uh, it's right around the corner. It's which, in March. March yeah, 20th. yeah, it's coming up. But um, yeah, shout out to the Golden Gloves. I love the Golden Gloves. It's probably one of my favorite tournaments. But uh, I win districts every year. I could go. I'll go win districts right now. I don't. I I'm more than capable. Of winning How many districts. district championships do you have? Right now, I've I've been fighting for five. I have three. I got hurt last two years ago. I got I hurt my knee. So I didn't do the gloves, but I got two, three district championships, Golden Glove district championships. Yeah, that's great. And then, uh, yeah, the Golden Gloves is a great is a great tournament. Yeah, uh, I got I love the Golden Gloves. Yeah, it's definitely prestigious, and it's good to have that on your your resume. Three Golden Gloves championships, <laughs> you know. Um, and uh, how about other other tournaments? Have you ever gotten fighting that's, for other tournaments? See, the, but that's where the the um, the age is what it is. Like I I'll fight whoever. It don't. It, I'm at the point now when when you reach when you reach 30, we're all the same. Not the same. You got guys that got 60 over 100, which they're really experienced and they're great guys and they're they're hell of a fighter. But um, I would, if I was younger, and I started fighting when my dad was doing it, and I was with the right people, Larry, all them doing the, bringing up the amateurs, I'd have a national chance. I'd have time. Right now, it's like I'm 26 years old, so I got bills, I got trucks, I got car. You know, I got I got everything. To, pain right. that's coming from me you know what i mean i ain't got i don't have like my mom and dad they take care of me good like i love my mom and dad but they don't uh they yeah don't you know, you know yeah i'm, I'm an adult yeah. bro i'm 26 years old i gotta hold my own so that's my main focus but let alone i gotta still this is another investment <clears throat> excuse me investing in myself investing in what i've been working for and that's a lot of people i feel like uh don't understand is that I've already invested so much. I've made it to this table, AJ. You know what I mean? It's a good feeling, man. It's a great feeling. Yeah, yeah. But it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, it definitely has. <clears throat> so, uh, what what are your goals? And I think you have a, a pretty big announcement to make to the folks uh, here watching and the folks that'll watch uh, this video. And uh, you know, this is going to be archived in the, you know, Jesse just watched Oatman's, uh forever. <laughs> you know highlights and videos hopefully, hopefully yeah 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 we can go back on this yeah, years later absolutely another, another five yeah so uh 
why, why don't you talk about about uh, you know what motivates you and what your future goals are and and you know where you're going to be in the next say you know four to six to eight to you know four one year from now. To eight. Uh, so before we, we jump onto that, what's your motivation? What what makes you wake up in the morning and say, you know what, I'm going to go out there and give it my all. Bills. Yeah. Bills. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Uh, it, it definitely is a part. It's a part of that. You know what I mean? You have to wake up and I'm going to keep running with it. Regardless, this I have a I've been I have over a bachelor degree in fighting. I have five years in. So basically, I went to college for five years on fighting. So that means I can teach. I'm you know, what I mean, I'm working on getting my doctor's degree where if I teach like I will always be successful in boxing because of that. It doesn't have to be fighting. It doesn't have to be winning. It like it, I could quit right now and. I can do my thing. I can work with you, and we could we could uh, do our things in gyms. You know what I mean? Right. Like we could, but I, I I feel like there's much more left. But that's why, in my knowledge, to my knowledge, it's an investment in everything. It's not just a fighting in myself. It's it's a learning process. You know what I mean? It's right. a it's a it's a good thing. I feel like. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> so, uh, how how about this? Who, who's your inspiration? Our inspirations. Inspirations. Oh man, you should ask me this yesterday. I would have made a list. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to think. I, I want to say my dad, because man, he he's still doing it. And he's he's older and he's still just doing it, and he's going strong. Um, you know, uh, we're gonna have your dad here uh, on the show uh, within the next week or so. And if you don't know Jesse's father, uh, Jesse Oltman Sr., um, you know he was several time Tough Man champion. He fought uh, amateur. Um, and he's 44 years old, and he still competes uh, uh, professionally, um, competitively. Competitively, yes. He. Uh, and he nobody actually, wants to smoke. Nobody <laughs> at cruiserweight does not yeah. want to see the old man. That's yeah. a fact. And uh, you know, he actually fought the MMA <clears throat> Wilder, which is pretty cool. You know, uh, win, lose, or draw when you're fighting um, probably one of the baddest men on the planet. You know, that's a that's a good yeah, notch bad. On your, uh, he is a bad man. Yes. Yes. So you got your father's an inspiration. Yeah. Um, what are we doing? We doing athletes? What do you want? What do you whatever. Want? Whatever. Inspiration. Yeah. Inspiration. You're an inspiration. I got a bunch. Of, oh, the only thing around me are inspiration. Well, thank AJ. You. That means a lot. That means if a you're lot. around me, that means you are inspiration. It means we're working towards something. It means we're working towards our goals or our future. Uh, positivity. You know what I mean? Like that's what changed my life, and that's to totally honest. Yeah. In the last five years is what I've been practicing is having nothing but positive hungry people around me that are work. i don't care what the goal is just work towards a better day a better future a better goal something there, there has to be something you know what i mean and always got to thank the man above of course of course the, the number one uh motivation um you know what i just watched and actually your father was the one who told me to watch this i don't know if you've watched it but it's called the secret the secret attraction it's a uh, on netflix and uh, ever since i watched this one i can't wait to watch it again uh, but I keep on thinking to myself, um, you know, it's basically on the law of attraction. So, okay. you know, if you dream or ask oh, for something, okay. you believe I it, see. you're going to receive it. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Um, so um, after watching that movie, you know, of course, my my goals in 2020 were, you know, focus on, on God. And, and I'm not going to get, you know, uh, uh, religious or anything like this, mm -hmm. but, but God... Um, you know, my business and overall becoming uh, this year is going to be a, a, a great year, you know, for not only me, but for the team here at MMA Signatures Academy, um, uh, our new wrestling promotion, oh, you yeah. know, NSW. And, um, you know, ev everyone around us as a team is going to be successful because um, all the positive energy that we're going to put out there. And, uh, you know, um, so I guess we'll just jump to the. Uh, the chase here you got you got some big news coming right yeah in March. yeah I'm, I'm waiting i'm waiting for the contract yes I'm waiting for the contract send yes. the contract yeah so um i guess we're making the announcement right now jesse uh is going to be making his pro debut on chris coin's card pa championship boxing. shout out to chris coin yes he's definitely the man uh march 28th in scranton pennsylvania yep. which is basically in in you know the backyard here of your hometown oh yeah I fought in Scranton a couple times. I actually been to the Hilton, I believe. You fought there. We actually saw you fight there. Yeah, yeah. I fought. I fought in. A, I fought in the gloves there. Yeah. 
And I want to say, didn't Coin throw a show? Who threw a show there? There's a professional show yeah. there. I've yeah. been there as an amateur watching the show. I've, I've seen my advice. It's a great venue. It's a great time. Uh, big venue. Nice. It's. I'm just. I'm just grateful, and I'm ready to take care of business. To be totally honest with you, I'm excited. Yeah, you know what I mean? Especially awesome. to be my bad. I mean, pay off. To be in front of my hometown, close enough where I get to showcase my talent as my pro debut. Right. <clears throat> we're we're really excited, and it's something not, uh, you know, your father, yourself, uh, Chris, and myself sat down a couple weeks ago, and you know, um, the the professional boxing world is is not easy. Yeah. You know, not everybody coming out is going to make may may weather money or or even make any money, you know, make, um, make money. you know, for some reason um, in the professional boxing world or any professional sports world, they think there's like this cloud of money that when there's a, a fight, they just go up and take this money. And and it all comes down to, you know, ticket sales. It comes down to, yeah, um, there's so much more that goes into it. There's yeah, everything. So much, so much that goes into it. Um, so hopefully the folks that are watching um, will come and support you, you know, because that's yeah, a big thing, you know, of course, that's how, of course. how you keep on growing and growing and growing. So, again, that's March 28th uh, at the Hilton in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're really excited for you to make your pro debut. It's something, you know, I've seen you grow in the sport. I think when you first came to the gym here in Stroudsburg, you may have had five or six fights. No. Yeah. Man, well, you know what? Maybe. Yeah. Because I met you before I actually started coming here. Yeah. Yeah. I met you when I for yeah, probably, I probably had five or six. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's five years ago. Yeah. That's crazy. So it's, you know, you've come a long way, and it's uh, been a, a pleasure and an honor to see you grow, you know. Yeah. Because when you first started, I thought, man, this guy. No, I'm only, I'm only kidding. I already knew you. I'm only kidding. kidding. No, you always have that talent, and it's in your genes. You know, you're, uh, Thank you. you, know, you were born with it, so that's good. And um, so, um, I mean, sponsors is a big part of being successful yes. in this business, too. So if somebody um, that that's watching or, or wants to you know sponsor you how, how do they get in touch with you uh i facebook email instagram i'm on all of it my dad's on all of it aj's on all of it and my signature's on all of it um where however really i i i have a sponsorship package that I, that's going out soon i just been waiting to uh publish it and put the last finishing touches on it and just trying to be patient i'm trying to take this moment in you know what i mean i'm trying to uh relax i'm trying to still stay patient but still stay hungry but uh yeah, I have a sponsorship package going out to a couple of sponsors. Uh, I'm looking for any any sponsorship, any any way we can work together, collab together. Anybody that's trying to be successful out there, straight up, like I said, I have successful people around me, and I'm trying to have more successful people around me. If you're hungry and you're working towards something, if you have a good idea, don't be scared to, to shoot the idea. Send me a, a message, a DM, an email. It's, it doesn't matter. Nice. And uh, sponsorships, you know, I've sponsored – you know, fighters for the best, you know, you know and it, it's pretty cool as a sponsor, you know, you get your, um, you know, your logo on their shorts or on their shirt, they wear your hat, you know, they're doing promos for you, you know, advertising the company. Um, so it, it really helps local businesses. It also helps, uh, you know, national businesses, yeah. too, you know, but the big thing is, is, of course, you know, going after the the local businesses, places that you, you go to. And I know you bounce from New, New Jersey and, and Pennsylvania. So, uh, you know, you have a wide range of folks that you touch. Yeah, shout, shout, my bad. Uh, real quick, shout out to Enforcer Fitness in Nutley, New Jersey. That's my other spot. It's like another home away from home. Nice. Shout out to them guys, Chris Concho and all them over there, James J. Weather. I don't know if any of these guys are watching, but that's another fam away from the fam. Nice, nice. And we're looking forward to having them come up here to MMA Signatures Academy uh, to do some cross training. Yeah. To get me prepared for this fight. So, if, if um, folks don't know, Going into becoming a, a a fighter, you know, whether it's professional or amateur, or professional because you're actually going into a camp. So why don't you tell tell the folks watching, you know, what what the next 10, 11 weeks is going to look like for for just watch. The the next it's the vision now. It's the Jesse the Vision almost. I guess now we can announce it because now it's here. Jesse the Vision. You know what I mean? Just watch as a little kid. Now now we're doing big things. How ironic. Things. 2020. The year 2020. Hey, and that's, and it's that's the vision. been the name. That's been the name. People people don't understand that. Not because it's 20. Like I've had that name about seven, eight months ago. Probably I was thinking about it even before, but it's just, like you said, ironic. Mm -hmm. It's very ironic. It's a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. It is. It is. But uh, I'm in camp now. I've been working out for a little bit. I mean, I don't know if I should be saying too much, 
But uh, now this is a cruiserweight fight that you're. Yeah, I'm dropping. Right? I'm dropping yeah. a lot of weight. So right now, what are you about three hundred pounds? No, I'm only kidding. After they given, <laughs> I might have been. <laughs> so what, you don't walk around that big. Maybe what two twenty? I was two twenty seven after Thanksgiving. Yeah. I was letting myself go. But you think two twenty? You know, it's it's not really that heavy, and especially because you're what six three. Six four. Six four. Yeah. Six four. Um, I'm. I I haven't checked. I haven't jumped on the scale in a while. I know I'm. I would say I'm under two ten right now. Good. And I, and I have to be what under two hundred. Yeah. I'm under two hundred. So right. that's. But I'm still. I'm still trying to get down more. I'm just being healthy, positive thinking, positive mind, positive everything. Nice. I just I, the diet is really what sucks. I'm just sick of eating the same healthy. You know what I mean? It's healthy food is boring, but it's got to be done right now. So sacrifice, back to the sacrifices, we got to, you know what I mean? Absolutely. A lot of things taken care of. I don't think, um, you know, a lot of folks, unless you're in the business of, uh, you know, martial arts, and when I say martial arts, I mean boxing, I mean wrestling, I mean jujitsu, Muay Thai, so on and so forth. You know, um, just a camp, going through, you know, the weight loss leading up to it, you know, the training, the hours and hours of training um, that goes into it, the nutrition everything it's a total change of a lifestyle yeah. when you're getting ready for fights and um you know so you know hats off to you to to get you prepared for Thank this you. and uh you know we'll always support you here at mma signatures academy and uh you know same thing with uh, your folks out there in jersey yeah and um you know we're looking forward to this march 28th fight but uh before we close um anything else that you want to say to the people watching um yeah, I want to thank a couple of my sponsorships right now. Uh, Impact Mouth Guards always keep my mouth nice and and uh, smiley, keep protecting my grill. Thank you, Impact Mouth Guards. Uh, Sleeves, it's a compression Under Armour. Thank you guys for always looking out after me. Thanks, AJ. Thanks, thanks Chris Concho. Shout out to Chris Coyne. Shout out to my father and uh, Two Smooth Lamont Capers. Nice. Love them, guys. Nice. Well, thanks again for coming on the show today. Uh, we look forward to having you back. When you get that first W on March 28th, and uh, if you uh, have any questions, if you want to sponsor Jesse, um, reach out. Uh, you can uh, contact Pocono uh, Podcasting at 570-202-9400, or you could also reach us at 570-872-1444. Thanks again, Jesse, for coming on the show. Yep, thank you, AJ. Appreciate it.